Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I've got some more Torchlight 2 commentary here for you. This time I'm going to show you guys some actual gameplay from my favorite class, the Berserker. And as you can see, we are not inside a dungeon and this is also not an actual proper boss fight. This is just a mini boss that I just kicked to the curb, if you can say it like that. There's no actual curb, I see, but what are you gonna do? And I'm just going to show you guys how it is to be outside of a dungeon because the other gameplay videos are with actual bosses and in, in actual dungeons. And I'm basically just exploring the map, just roaming around and finishing up the map itself to see if there are any, you know, any secrets left. Because there are certain events that can lead to dungeons or to rare items perhaps. And it's always nice to explore, and I suppose one of the important factors of games like this may be Torchlight, Torchlight 2, Diablo 1, 2, uh, or 3, or any other action role-playing game. Exploring and, you know, finding secrets is always a very important factor, and a very enjoyable factor I find myself. And Torchlight 2 does it pretty well. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff that actually turns out to be... Well, pretty nice, because sometimes you have certain events that trigger, or that you have to trigger, and you have to fulfill undescribed objectives to unlock, for example, a gate. And this is a very good example that is coming right up. At the bottom of this map, there's a, a graveyard-like... I suppose, yeah, I suppose it's a graveyard-like, but not really a graveyard type of place. And you could already see the ledge or the, um, the beginning of it right here. And I'm basically also just checking out my armor and see if I have any good items available. Which is not really the case because I am pretty much twinged out for all the stuff that I could buy or find in the dungeon of my level. This is by the way on veteran and not on elite. I prefer to play elite with uh, friends of mine. Because as, as a melee class on elite it is extremely difficult to actually stay alive during certain boss fights or during any chaotic fight. And this is... Also a very good start to one of the events that I'm going to try to do for this gameplay and basically you just trigger a door and I figured there was some secret behind it because I never saw this place, I never saw this specific event. So I was kind of expecting perhaps an item or something. Unfortunately this was not the case but then I saw this NPC and the, the gate that is locked by a ghost like chain which means in my head I already know what I have to do which is free the ghosts and not die because they are chains uh, that are locked and th there's a certain amount of ghosts that are required to basically blow up the chains and be able to go through the door and it's things like this and I also found a bug at a very similar time as well so I probably should pay that or send that to uh, ruining games myself but as you can see they can't attack me even though I can attack them and do quite a nice amount of damage as you can see because my build is um, Basically a crit single target DPS that, re that then results into AoE type build. I don't really know how to explain it. But it's definitely working as you can see. And they can't attack me but I can attack them. And that was actually a mini boss. So that is granted. And this is also another event that is actually within another area that already had the other event. Which is basically... You know, you beat wave after wave and then you get a tougher mob at the end and then you get some nice loot. It's it's little things like this that you can stumble upon if you actually go outside and not be inside of a dungeon and just explore and find all these kinds of crazy things. And even if you go explore, you can find actual dungeons that are not, not your main objective or just s little side quests that actually have bosses in them that actually can loot or drop very nice loot as well. And it's, it's, I, I really enjoy this game and also playing with my favorite class, it, it, it really makes me want to get going and start on the playthrough that I'm going to do when this game goes live, which will not be too long. Thursday is the ending of the beta and this is also why I am putting out so much Torchlight 2 content right now. So I hope you guys don't mind. I will be uh, going back to a regular schedule once the Torchlight beta has been closed. And I will continue to upload Tor uh, Team Fortress 2 content as well. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got a, or at least saw a very good feeling, or got a very good feeling to see what is possible and what it is like to be outside. Anyway, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and make sure to check out the links below. And I will catch you guys next time.